Hello YouTubers, welcome to Johnny's YouTube NetSec channel. We are going to continue our Checkpoint IIT.40 firewall lab and we are going to talk about uh, smart log and smart event. Those are management features. We were talking about a lot of um, other features such as uh, VPN, such as application control, URL filtering, those features are on a gateway. So for the logs and the monitoring, for the smart event, the features we're going to talk about, this is a management feature. So when we go to logs and the monitor, we can investigate the event and the logs using predefined queries. Click the queries. You can see all record. You can choose the timing, how long you want to show it, today or last 24 hours, or yesterday or this week. Or you can custom the time, whatever, where you want, as long as you have that logs. There's more queries. We were using HTTPS feature. So we can quickly check HTTPS inspection. Then we can see what's happening in last hour, anything relating to braid HTTPS inspection that we'll be showing here. Either inspect, either bypass. You also can edit the more query field here. For example, you want to see anything starting from our testing server 172, 17.1.42. So the source is going to come in from 172.17.1.42. If you found this query is helpful and you want to save this query, you can just go into Queries and add it to your favorite or press Ctrl D. So you can save this query and with the name HTTPS from source one. 7217.142 Next time you can easily just click your favorite query to launch it. You can also easily build your query based on the logs you see from this screen. Let's see all logs. You can edit more, you can edit that. For example, if you want to investigate any traffic from 192.168.2.69, you can just add it to filter. Add to filter 192.168.2.67. And then if you want to investigate the destination 224.0.0.251, then you can do add to field and end or all or not. So there's a couple of options here. You can choose using those operator and or not. So then this custom query can be built directly from the logs. You can add the service, for example, you want to see IGMP, then you can directly add to filter and IGMP. So basically, the query is going to become source coming from 192.168.2.67 and the destination is 224.0.0.251 and the service is IGMP. And it's for last hour only. You don't need to type anything, you just need to right click on it and add it into the filter. So it's very convenient to use. After you uh, satisfy your query, then you can just you can save it to the favorite and use it next time. There's a lot of predefined query you can use. For example, URL filtering braid. By reading the predefined query 
and then adding the, your filtering into this query and build a more complicated query for yourself. You also can use the top source, top destination, those tops predefined the query just by clicking to it. For example, we just click the top application proxy dot my dash ADDR dot com then they're gonna shows up. So play this URL filtering and the application name is proxy. So just two queries field. We just need the one here. And then you can also add the more coming and the more destination. You can by clean up the queries by selecting all logs. Then you will get all log sources. And then they will automatically summarize top of the source, top destination, those tops for you. Very helpful, very easy to use. The second thing I want to talk about for management braid is smart event. So we need to go back to gateways and the servers and we need to check our management. Right click on it add it. As you can see smart event is on check right now. So there's two braids. One is called smart event server and the one smart event creation unit. Check both. Click OK. Please make sure you have license for it. This is not uh, free features to use. You have to have kind of license to use. You can check device and the license information to find out your license status. And right now I'm using smart event this uh, evaluation. I have one half months to use right now, so it should be fine. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is uh, the logs. So if you have a lot of logs, you may want to purge them. There's no way since RAT published, there's no way you can easily purge the logs, but uh, you can do it from command line. Uh, but the storage here, you can customize the logs retention policy. So I already modified to seven days and 30 days. By default, it's seven days for keep indexed logs and 3,650 days for log files. You can change that. After you made these changes, just install a policy. Install. Install policy. When you install policy to the gateway, it also install a configuration changes on your management server, which we just enabled the smart event on management server. Installation succeeded. To check the smart event, go to the logs and the monitor again. And uh, you need to add another tab here. And go to access control. Now you can see the event, what's happening in last seven days. Previously, we have compliance braid was enabled on management server. So we can check the status right now after running for a couple of days. Um, now you can see there are 162 best practice monitored across secure, good, median, poor, and there is 63 action items which we can improve our compliance score. If you click those action items, they will show you what you can change on your configuration and that can help you to compliance with your regulation or standard, like a GDPR, PCI, NIST, HIPAA, ISO 27002, SOX,
those are those 63 action items. Some are very poor, the shows poor, which you can change it. Some are shows good. So access control. Let's refresh it. There's not much information right now, but when we do more labs, we're going to come back to check it again to see how this dashboard is going to show into us. You also can change the options by clicking options to edit this report to change the way to add the widget, some chart, table, timeline, infographic, container. Um, this is top user, we are not using that, we can close this one by clicking top user by traffic, this cross icon, then we can delete this one, top users. Then we can add more, like, uh, infographic. And then we can change the settings here. Um, probably we can put actions. So there's a lot of, there's 259 fields, you can add it. And then you can create in your own widget, like infographic, into like this report, this dashboard. So that's pretty much all for the smart logs and the smart event. Um, we enable the smart event in this lab. We're gonna see the result once we enable the other features and then simulating some thread and then detecting those threads and blocking them and then we will find out the those events gonna show in here. Thank you for watching.